Alright, hello everybody, and today I want to do a quick little video. We're going to find the natural log of a negative number. Because the natural log function is only defined for numbers which are strictly greater than zero. So today we want to find if there's even a value for the natural log of negative numbers. And later on in the video, we're going to find the natural log of complex numbers as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. So let's just jump straight into it. Let's take a look at this natural log of negative a. Notice that this is the same as natural log of negative one times a and if you know some natural log properties you know that you can turn the multiplication of the argument into the addition of logs so this is the same as natural log of negative one plus the natural log of a so you see a here is strictly greater than zero so this part here we know how to deal with but the real trouble is the natural log of negative one because you see the natural log of negative one doesn't actually exist well that's at least if you look in the real numbers so maybe we can uh, work with this guy in the complex world. So let's draw up the complex plane here. So this is the imaginary axis, this is the real axis, and this is our one, I guess. And this is the negative one we want to find. Well, if you look at it in the complex plane, if you know how to represent um, complex numbers in polar form, you know that some complex number z here, is nothing but r e to the i theta where r is the modulus of the complex number and theta is the argument which is the angle it makes with the positive real axis so maybe we can use this form to find out um, to find an alternative expression for our negative one so our negative one first of all we need to find the radius and the radius here is exactly one from the origin so we have one times e to the i and theta here well, if you look at um, the unit circle, to get from 1 to negative 1, you have to go all the way around 180 degrees. That's an ugly semicircle. I apologize. So you have to go all the way 180 degrees around to reach negative 1. But 180 degrees is exactly pi in radians. But we're actually not done yet because how about if we go around another time? we're still going to land on negative one and if we go around, around another time we're still going to land around negative one and even if we go backwards we're still going to land on negative one so we're actually missing something in this angle here the angle is not just pi our angle is pi plus two pi n where n is some integer and if you want to go around and keep landing on the same spot our n has to be an integer so it can't be like three quarters or something otherwise you'll land on some random spot in the circle so n has to be an integer so this is kind of like the general form that we want so this is our expression for negative one here we can get rid of this one because it's doing absolutely nothing so let's go back to here i'm going to write the natural log of a first because we know how to deal with that and we're going to add it with this part so natural log of negative one but negative one is nothing but this thing right here that we just found. So that's e times i to the pi plus 2 pi n. And you may notice something, the natural log and the e will cancel and that will leave you with natural log of a plus i pi plus 2 pi n. And that's pretty much our answer to the natural log of negative a. It's just natural log of a which is our real component plus this imaginary component here pi plus 2 pi so now like i said before we're going to find the natural log of a complex number so let me just throw out this stuff here so next we want to find the natural log of complex number z so z is an element of the complex numbers so let's do ex the exact same thing that we did to our negative one our z is nothing but r times e to the i theta but remember we're not actually done yet because this theta here we can add 2 pi to it and we're going to still land on the same complex number so really what it should be is theta plus 2 pi n like so so let's substitute this part into this natural log so this is the natural log of r e to the i theta plus 2 pi n and like before, we can split this natural log up into the sum of natural logs. So natural log of r plus natural log of e to the i theta plus 2 pi n. And natural log and e will cancel. 
So we have natural log of r plus i theta plus 2 pi n. So there we go. So the natural log of some complex number is just the natural log of its modulus plus i times its angle that it makes with the real axis plus this extra 2 pi n here. So I'm just going to do a quick example um, just for fun I guess. Uh, let's do the natural log of, I don't know, uh, 3 plus 4i. There we go. So first we have to convert this 3 plus 4i into polar form. So if you look at the complex plane, imaginary real here, and you have 3 and 4 here. So you want to find the polar form of 3 plus 4i. Well, first we have to find out this modulus here, and I chose 3 and 4 because it's an easy Pythagorean triple. Um, the modulus is just 5 because just do Pythagoras theorem. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, and we have to find the angle here. Well, that's just the arc tangent of something. So theta, um, because we know this length here is 4, theta is nothing but arc tangent of opposite over adjacent, which is 4 over 3. So 4 thirds like so. So we have the information we need. Our radius is 5. Our theta is arc tangent of 4 over 3. So let's plug those in. So now we have the natural log. So using this formula we have right here, natural log of um, our radius r, which is the modulus, which is 5 in this case. And then we have to add it with um, i times theta here, but theta is arc tangent of 4 over 3 and then plus 2 pi n and if you want you can leave out this 2 pi n if you just want the principal uh, solution and not the general solution but uh, yeah that's the natural log of 3 plus uh, 4 i so there we go and just to be clear n is an integer so uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this little video and uh, I'll see you guys next time